What's up, you guys? Well, see, y'all probably don't know, but there's a closet back there. I know what you're thinking. Megan, black lipstick? That's bold. I'm feeling very witchy today, okay? Today, you're doing something very special. Well, not really. Uh, we are cleaning all of my animals' cages today. Which is going to be an adventure in and of itself. We're gonna start with Winslow. I think we're gonna go Winslow, Mr. Peanut Butter, Beano, Daredevil, and then Archer last. So Winslow's already out. We're gonna go ahead and start with his cage first. But before we go ahead and start that, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Because then you can see all sorts of footage of my adorable little animals. So let's get to it. Winslow, you look so cute today. As always. I love you. I kiss you, but I have lipstick on. Alright, so here is Winslow's cage. It's constantly destroyed. He doesn't like to be in his cage. He's like, you cannot cage a dragon. Yeah, I know. That's why it's always really bare, because he's never in there. And when he does, he just likes to destroy everything. So we can see some salad remnants. I have his little dragon stone. Um, so basically what I do is I just mix a bleach solution where I take a little bit of bleach and hot water and go ahead and clean everything out. Um, we are going to clean his dragon stone and we're going to clean his hammock as well. And then we're probably going to leave him out to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that up real quick. Alright, so here is my bleach solution. Now, I'm not a scientist, so I can't really say for sure the uh, percentage of bleach you should use because um, I'm not going to do math. But I just do it to the point where I can't smell the bleach anymore in the water, which I believe is a pretty tried and true method because bleach smells terrible. Yeah, we're fine. All right, let's get our paper towels and get down to it. And in order to clean the little dragon stone, I'm actually just going to go ahead and use hot water. And if you hear that in the background, that is just my water faucet running. Alright. So usually by the time I'm done cleaning dragon stone, the cage is dry. So I'm going to go ahead and reapply his paper towels. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and actually change of plans. We're going to move on to Bean's cage. Just because I didn't think Bean would be up right now, but she is actually up. So we're going to go ahead and do her cage first. Where's Bean? She's in her cage right now. But I'll pull her out in a second. Alright, so here is the Bean Palace. So I'm actually going to go ahead and remove all of her ornaments first. And then we're going to get the Bean out. By the way, quick little tidbit for any gecko owners. Uh, lover geckos will typically pick one spot to poop at. I always like to put extra paper towels down where Bean decides to poo. Alright, so here is where Bean's former pooping spot was. There's a paper towel under there. 
And you can see the remnants of some urets that fell underneath the paper towel. And here she is, the most beautiful bean of them all. Yeah, she doesn't exactly like getting her cage cleaned. I might give me 10 minutes and then I'll put you back in your little introverted cave of introversy. You can just wash this with a uh, regular hot water and some elbow grease. Right, now we're just gonna go ahead and repeat the process that we did with Winslow's cage on Ms. Bean's cage. And now we have Bean, back where she wants to be. Oh, little lady, yeah? Yeah, you're back in the Bean Palace, Miss Bean. You're back in the Bean Palace. It's all fresh and clean. So beautiful. I love you, Bean. I love you. All right, so this is literally the best angle I could get of Mr. Peanut Butter's cage. If I shot it on the other side, the glare would be like really bad. So I do apologize if it seems a little strange. But we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Take the little one out. Hello. Hello, little one. Take the little one out. Strip the cage down. Clean it. Spritz it down. Dry it. Put him back in. Hello. He's so sweet. He's such a sweet little guy. So active. I didn't expect him to be so active. He's supervising. He does a very good job at it. All right, so we went ahead and finished Mr. Peanut Butter's cage up. Did change it around a little bit. I like to do that every time I clean, just to keep it fresh, keep it clean. So we're gonna go ahead and get Mr. Peanut Butter and put him back into his cage. The Peanut Butter is back in the PB&J. He just wants to see the world. I love him. Yeah, it's cleaning day for you too, Mr. Man. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with Archer's cage. Now Archer's cage is a lot different than the others because he's the only one with a substrate. So, this is going to be interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my snake hook so we can go ahead and get him out. All right, so now that it's mostly out, I'm gonna go ahead and dump the rest just cause I didn't wanna dump half a tank of Aspen right on top of Mr. Peanut Butter. So I already got a couple specks. Here's Archer being cute. All right, 
archer's cage has sufficiently dried, so we're gonna go ahead and take our bag of aspen and fill it in. I usually use about half a bag. So here is the final product. Uh, all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get Archer out of the little cage and put him in his regular cage. All right, friends, so it is time to clean out Daredevil's cage. So I'm not actually going to be taking Daredevil out just because Daredevil is still a little skittish of me, which is fine. Doesn't want to be picked up, but does not mind my hand inside the cage, which is good. So I'm going to clean out that water bowl, I'm going to clean the log, and I'm going to take these wood chips out too. So this isn't going to be as much of a deep clean just because I don't want to stress their double out, but still got, still got clean stuff. And look how beautiful he slash she is. Ugh. One of the reasons why I named my gargoyle gecko daredevil is because when he fires up he looks so different than what he does when he's not fired up. And he actually almost gets like these crazy reds and stuff like that. He's actually got a little bit more orange over like the past month or so, so definitely some beautiful growth. And now for your viewing pleasure, we will be bathing Winslow. Okay, so here is a prepared bath for the Mr. Man. Oh, and here is the Reptisafe, by the way. Really good if you have hard water in your area and you need to bathe or give your lizards water. Would highly recommend. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Good boy. All right, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. Make sure to go ahead and if you're new here, subscribe. Comment down below, just say hi. Or if you have any video requests, go ahead and leave them down there. Give this video a like so I know what you guys like. I want to put out stuff that you guys like. Now my reptiles cages are clean. My lizard is bathed. Two birds, one stone. Catch you guys on the flip side next Monday. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!